Hello and welcome to our channel, Tech Expert Tutorials. There are many very good reasons to add an OpenAI GPT application to your business or personal website. Large language models like ChatGPT help us to create new applications that were previously too difficult to build. For this reason, many businesses are now leveraging AI chatbots to streamline customer interactions, automate manual tasks, help make decisions, and so on. Imagine serving multiple customers efficiently without compromising quality. In addition, there are hundreds of uses of GPT-4 for your personal life, such as learning a new language or improving your health. Check out our video on the top 10 applications for GPT. Link is in the description below. In this project-based beginner's tutorial, you'll learn how to construct your own chatbot using OpenAI GPT-4. The tutorial covers everything from setting up the environment to handling user input and integrating the AI model into your application. The chatbot you will build possesses groundbreaking conversational abilities. It can answer questions, generate content, correct language, suggest edits, translate, and even write code upon request. Prerequisites include basic knowledge of Python and Conda. To learn more about that, view my video on Python, Conda, and JupyterLab, link in the description below. You'll also need an Azure account and an API key, which you can obtain by following this demo. Don't worry if you're still waiting for GPT-4 access, the GPT-3.5 Turbo model is fully compatible and available to all. Let's get started. First, we'll open the console at portal.azure.com. We'll select Azure Open API as the resource, then we'll create one. Next, we'll need to select a subscription and I'll be creating a new resource group. We'll use this resource group later for deleting all of our services when we're finished. I'll leave the region as is. You could select East US or West US, either is fine. I'll give this instance a name. And then I'll select the standard pricing tier. Click on Next. I'm opening this up for all networks. Click on Next. I'm not adding any tags. So I'm creating this now. This gives us a summary of what we're creating here. Okay, now it says deployment in progress. This may take a few minutes. Okay, now it's successful. So click on the go to resource button. From here, I want to copy the endpoints and the keys to my clipboard. I'll need those later. Next, I'll go ahead and open the OpenAI Studio. There are several options here. I'm selecting the chat playground here. I need to create a new deployment. I'm selecting a model. If you have the right account, you may be able to see GPT-4, but for this account, I only have GPT-3.5 available. I select my version and then give it a deployment name and then create. From here, we can set up our assistant and do some testing. You can see that you can select the system message. This is part of the prompting. I'll have a video on how to create a good prompt available soon. So I make some slight adjustments to the message here. Setting up a good prompt is key in getting good results and in avoiding what is termed hallucinations. You can even speak your input here. I'm just going to type mine in. So I'm just asking a simple question here. And we get a simple answer in return. Now I'm going to try to deploy this to a web app. Here I'm creating a new one. You can also update an existing web app if you want to embed this. That would be useful if you already have a website and you just want to add this functionality into your website. Here I give it a resource group and a name. I'm not going to enable the chat history. That incurs an extra additional cost. So for now, it's deploying the web app. Okay, it says web app is deployed. But if you actually check to see if this web app exists, it usually takes five or 10 more additional minutes before it's fully functional. This is the website that it's working on. And when it's finished, this is what it will look like. We will cover setting up this web page and the configuration in another video. For now, we will give a demo on how to use this in a Python script. At the top, we'll include some basic kind of commands that you will need to, in order to run this. 
Notice the OpenAI package, that's the SDK from Azure. Next, we'll import that package along with a few other packages. Then we're gonna read the key and the endpoint that we copied from the console earlier. We save that into the app settings.json file. This is what the structure should look like. Next, we're gonna set up some variables for the OpenAI. API type, version, base, and key. The base and the key we get from the settings.json file. Next, we'll set up a response variable using the OpenAI chat completion create function. Here we set the engine to the name that we gave it in the console, along with some messages. These are prompt messages. Finally, we'll print the entire response along with the part of the response that contains the return message. Now we open a terminal so that we can go ahead and run this Python script. Here's our command to run. And here's the response. You can see the entire response at the top along with the response message at the bottom. In the response metadata up above, you can see some key variables here. You can see the creation, the model that was used, even some usage like the prompt tokens that were used. This would be useful for debugging. Now we show you how to delete everything that you've created up to this point. If you delete by resource group, just type it in down below, click on delete, and then wait. From here, you can click on refresh. Once it's finished, these resources will disappear from the screen. Well, that's all we have for today. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.